Tuesday night. I need to get a workout in. And I don't have time to go to the gym. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do my workout at home. But I thought, why not, why not tape it? Because I may not be the only one that is in that space of, I'd like to get a little mini workout in, but I don't wanna get in my car and I don't wanna have to drive anywhere to do it. And here's the other thing that's really cool about working out from home is it does not matter what you're wearing. So in fact, this is still uh, my shirt from work <laughs> and some sweatpants. Just grab some comfortable shoes. So for today, really quick exercise. I am going to walk run on the treadmill for one mile and that is just a warm up just to get everything flowing. And then from there, we're only gonna do four exercises and you're gonna do them with me. So let's get going, hang tight. get fit with Jamie page over this last month we have been doing a challenge with chair squats so for today I am going to do my chair squats but I'm going to do them a little bit different uh, today's focus for the workout is all quad focus so that muscle that sits on the front part of your leg is what I am primarily going to focus on tonight so what changes with my chair squat I'm just going to lower how far down I'm coming down the whole method of doing the chair squat still stays the same. It is gonna be a pause motion, so I'm gonna sit all the way down and then use that muscle on the front part of my leg, that quad, to drive myself back up to standing. Everything that we do today, I'm gonna to do four sets of. I'm gonna do two sets of 12 and two sets of 10, just because I like to make things difficult. Do you have to do that? Absolutely not. Just do the reps. Um, get what's comfortable. You wanna make sure you keep the form. You'll see me take some breaks in between and we go from there. So here's our first exercise. just do a couple of circles around this area here what I like to do is focus on going really slow and going as deep into the lunge that I can but here safety tip you want a 90 degree angle with your front legs what does that mean you don't want to see your knee go beyond your toes you want to have that nice 90 degree so if you find that you're doing that if you lengthen your legs apart just a little bit more you're less likely to hyperextend that knee past your toes. So hang tight. And you'll probably find that the puppy follows me around the circle. She doesn't have to, but she's my friend. We're just going to do two different exercises on this. The first one, we're going to do kind of a static step up lunge. You'll see me step up on the step, do a lunge in the back, and then take it back. I'm going to work the exact same leg 
the full rounds and then switch legs. And then we'll talk about the second exercise. So hang tight. So for the step up, it's really up to you on how many steps that you want to use. What I would say is, you know, if you've never done this before, you need to use that step. But if you've done this a couple of times and you feel comfortable with it, I want you to think about expanding up with where your foot comes down. Are you going to help me with this? Okay, hang tight. Are you out of breath? I want to get you. So we have one more that we're going to do and I want you to have fun with this one because it's, it's just a fun one. So we're going to walk up the stairs. But what I want you to do is use your leg that is leading to propel you up the stairs. That is what is getting you up the next step. So I like to skip potentially two to three steps to work my way up. We'll see how to videotape this. <laughs> it may be interesting. Hang tight. So stairs, any type of stairs, doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be fancy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our foot on whatever step that is the most comfortable. I'm gonna go with the second step. I'm gonna use everything in this leg to bring my body up. So I'm gonna push forward and lift. I'm gonna do the next thing, put it on the stairs, using that front quad, pushing myself forward into it, using the leg only to lift myself up. Do you have to do two steps? Absolutely not, you can do one step, but what you wanna think is, is it's that working leg in the front that is propelling you up. No force from the back leg is doing that. So I'm gonna work my way up to the top and give that cute puppy a kiss who's running away, run myself back down the stairs, and then repeat it. Oh, well, you got the treadmill glow. <laughs> Man, so this month uh, I set a goal for myself that I was going to walk, run a mile every day. So 30 miles in the month. So if I skip a day, I just have to make it up on a different day. Man, I am not, I am not a runner, walker, or whatever. So this has been a bit of a challenge, but it is so worth it. I'm just changing it up something a little bit new. So I'm just gonna wrap up this video. It's probably gonna be really quick, but I just wanted to show you guys that you can get a really awesome workout from home. That You do not have to go anywhere. And in fact, we did all of this with the exception of the treadmill without any equipment. And really, you don't even need a treadmill. You could walk outside, you could walk around your house. You know, it's really just to get the blood flow going. So thank you all for joining me again. Really quick video. I will probably see you all again next week. If you're interested in any classes and you're in the Louisville area, please go check out the Get Fit page. Uh, the links will be in the bio. The schedule is there. We have wonderful classes. There's a wonderful instructor. <laughs> classes are Saturday, Sunday, and Monday um, at various locations. All that information is on that Facebook page. Would love to have you and love to see you. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks and have a good night.